YouTube have updated their Terms of Service again. This time, something a little bit dubious stood out. YouTube's right to monetize. YouTube has the right to monetize all content on the platform and ads may appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube Partner Program. What does that mean? It basically means if you're an up-and-coming YouTuber who hasn't met the prerequisite 4,000 watch hours or doesn't have at least 1,000 subscribers to be eligible for monetization, YouTube can still make money off your videos. Here's their FAQ. I'm no longer in the YouTube Partner Program, or I was never in the program, and I'm seeing ads on my videos. Am I earning revenue from those ads? YouTube is able to serve ads on all content on the platform. This means that if you were previously a member of YPP and currently are not in the program, you may still see ads being served on your content. In this case, you do not receive a share of the revenue. Okay, so at first I thought this was just YouTube treating its creators with contempt, as I have grown accustomed to, but then I started to think, are there any benefits to this? And I think, yes. Yes, there is. There is one major benefit for up-and-coming YouTubers. Previously, any new channel's videos were considered low priority by YouTube. That is, as they are not making any money off new creators, their algorithm was designed to prioritize monetized videos over non-monetized ones. This left new YouTubers struggling to survive. But it makes sense. YouTube are a business after all. If they can make wads of cash of Mr. Beast, why would they bother showing dad jokes by Not My Real Voice? There was little motivation to promote such videos. But now, now that all videos can potentially be monetized by YouTube in accordance with their new terms and conditions, and the fact that YouTube don't have to share their revenue to these new non-monetized channels, this means that it is now in YouTube's interest to show these new videos. For Mr. Beast's videos, they have to give Mr. Beast 55% of the revenue share, so Google only keep 45%. That's a fair chunk of cash, but it keeps Mr. Beast happy and making more videos. But now, YouTube can push and promote all of these other little videos, which probably make up a fair whack of views across all of YouTube. And now they can keep every last cent of ad revenue. YouTube will actually get more potential revenue from non-monetized videos than they will from monetized ones. Although it seems unfair that these small creators will be getting nothing, it's just possible that these new terms and conditions will actually help those new creators get more views because their videos will potentially be getting pushed harder by the YouTube algorithm. YouTube want to keep more of their money, right? So why not rely off legalized free labor? But this leads us on to the one major disadvantage, at least to those channels that are already monetized. If YouTube is showing all these ads on these smaller channels and keeping all of the revenue, this will directly take revenue away from the likes of Mr. Beast. Obviously, there's only so much ad revenue to go around. If YouTube can keep all the ad revenue from this guy, why pay this guy? The only reason they'll keep this guy hanging about is that he draws in a lot of viewers. But if the algorithm can be tweaked to start showing lots more new videos that are just as clickbaity, then YouTube can still get all of their precious ad revenue, but they don't have to pay the creators. It's an act of genius. It's digital slavery. Anyway, time will tell how all of this plays out, I suppose, but my thoughts are that YouTube aren't doing this just for fun. They're planning to make a ton of cash from it. So unfortunately, channels like Mr. Beast are probably going to see a bit of a hit in their revenue in the not-too-distant future. I wonder what he'll think of this.